Brooks is here, chilling. He's pretty happy. At least right now, it seems. And what an interesting past few days it's been. He is... How old is he today? He is 12 weeks old. He uh, is almost three months old. And on Sunday, he caught some pretty bad virus of sorts and had a 102.6 fever topped out that high. And it was fairly scary. We called and someone came actually uh, to see him. Hi. So, got that under control, but there was definitely some opinions of people telling us we needed to take him in to get checked out, which is just really scary, a whole flood of emotions, as likely every situation while he's somewhat little will be, um, I imagine in general, you know, we, we worry, parents worry about their kids in all sorts of ways, but because of our experience losing Allie, I think. So because of our experience of losing Allie, I think everything is just so much more challenging and Harder to navigate, obviously. Um, anyway, on that same day, we received our court case decision, which was ultimately a reversal of all charges, indication, a reversal of the indication against us, as well as the removal of our names from the New York State Registry. <laughs> basically the abuse registry. So if we had a background check run for employment or <clears throat> adoption, um, foster, foster parents, that kind of thing, that an indication would come up for child abuse on our report. And uh, essentially with a lot of places or jobs, that pretty much means you are not able to um, work with children, specifically Sam, my husband, he had to have a, a background check run for Little League. Um, I haven't yet, but I would at some point potentially be interested in being a Girl Scout troop leader. That also affects um, your ability to be one. You can't be one if you have an indicated report like we had, but it's now been removed and they've 